Welcome back to Adobe Live, live from off in Barcelona, off 2019. And for the next hour, we'll be together with David Carson. Hey, David, how are hey, you? Good, yeah, good. good. Great Welcome. to be here. Thank you. How many times have we been at Max? Oh, uh, gosh, I haven't been here for a while, but um, yeah, uh, I don't know, three or four times. They're always three or four good. Three times, yeah. I yeah. really enjoy uh -huh. it, yeah. So, Remember, the chat is open. If you have any questions for, uh, for David, feel free to ask them in, in the chat. And uh, so we're going to be um, uh, you know, discovering David's art and design uh, in the next 30 minutes. And then we're going to have two portfolio reviews where the, uh, the portfolio presenters will actually be here online with us, like live, okay? Nice, that'll be fun. David, just so you know, like, Many know you, you're a legend. Many, and, uh, many don't. <laughs> many don't. <laughs> so this is why I was going to ask you, you know, like, tell us a little bit about you. Like, who are you? What do you do? What did you do? And uh, <laughs> Oh boy, that's a big general question. <laughs> yes. But, uh, well, you know, I have a degree in sociology, mm -hmm. and uh, that was my major, and I taught mm -hmm. high school sociology for mm -hmm. about five years in San Diego. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, uh, then one summer, just kind of by chance, took a graphic design workshop mm -hmm. and uh, everything changed after mm -hmm. those two weeks and uh, every, everything shifted and pretty much never looked back. And, uh -huh. uh, when, when was that graphic design workshop again? Uh, like when, when? Well, gosh, it's been a while now. It would have been early 90s, mm -hmm. uh, maybe, maybe even late 80s. Mm -hmm. um, but it was mostly for high school seniors and I uh -huh. read this description about this uh, graphic design thing and uh, sounded really interesting. Uh -huh. I thought, wow, you can make a, a living from that, you can have fun, <laughs> you can be creative. Yeah. I was like, this sounds pretty yeah. good. I have a summer off, uh -huh. I'm teaching, maybe I uh, should check this out. And so I did, and I had a great teacher, a guy named Jackson Boltz I'm still friends with, and uh, yeah, everything mm -hmm. changed. So for me, I, I, I like to tell people sometimes that uh, it's a full second career. So mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know there was a term graphic design till I was 26. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so any of you still looking, there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> well, things have changed a lot since then. Um, like, <laughs> yes. yeah, we're all, we, we all at, have. At Adobe, we, we call it the democratization of design and um, that, you know, that, you know, it was a little bit like in the 90s. Like, I, I, I graduated in 92 from the Art Center and, uh, and at the Art Center, they used to tell us, yeah, you're going to be an art director within a year, and you're going to be driving your first Porsche in two years and things like that. But then the 90s came, and everybody had a Mac, and suddenly everybody was a graphic designer. Remember that? <laughs> well, I think yeah. now more than ever. Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's been said a lot that everybody's mm -hmm. a photographer, mm -hmm. but, yeah. but if you think about it, it's literally everybody is yeah. a photographer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you uh -huh. own a phone, yeah. you are a photographer, <laughs> and graphic design is pretty close to that. Mm -hmm. Everybody has... A, can access to the same similar mm -hmm. software and uh, so yeah absolutely so do you want to talk a little bit about you know I, I guess your first experiences was with Raygun magazine well actually I started with a magazine called Transworld Skateboarding mm -hmm. that was really my my education in, in a way it was all pre-computer it had to be uh, cut and pasted waxed mm -hmm. and yeah instructions on a tissue paper sent to the printer and then hope for the best <laughs> um, but I think I learned other design skills in having to do that, mm -hmm. that maybe, maybe get missed a bit somewhat today. Uh, I don't know, I have a few theories on that. But So for me, this transfer skateboarding was really my schooling. I did that mm -hmm. for three years, and then I shifted to um, a music magazine on the East Coast called uh, Musician, and then from that did a magazine called Beach Culture. And that was done back in California, a very experimental also kind of... Uh, uh, fashion, music, culture kind of magazine, then Surfer magazine, and then eventually that led to uh, the music magazine called Ray Gun, mm -hmm. and that's usually the one more people have heard of. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But uh, so for my lack of training, you know, I like to say I, I never learned all the things I wasn't supposed to do. <laughs> you know, and I think it's really true. So when I started to do a layout, I didn't have a voice from you know, third year saying, remember, we don't, those don't go there. Yeah. We, uh, I had none there of that. There is a grid. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, what does no. that line up with? And, um, so I had none of that. I just did what made sense to me mm -hmm. in trying to interpret what I had just read. Mm -hmm. And then somebody else later was, oh, you can't do that. You broke this rule, that rule. And I said, that's who, where, what? <laughs> so in my case, and 
having, however I look at, at the world or see things worked well with the lack of training, mm -hmm. lack of formal training. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, I went to a lot of workshops and heard speakers and um, but, and then also the medium I was working with was, was skateboarding and surfing and, and music, where I think as a designer you have a, you have a certain amount of freedom, but you also have a responsibility to that audience to uh, speak their language in a sense, not, not overly, but just be aware of who you're speaking to, what they're used to seeing, and the message you're trying to get across, mm -hmm. because design can be a huge uh, tool in, in helping communicate. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, you can have the best written whatever, but if nobody gets in to read it... Yeah. So know. it was like, was very, um, uh, like, how can I say, um, very grungy, very uh, emotional, <laughs> very, um, <laughs> like, like what, what you thought you just did. Yeah, without, well, without pretty the rules. much. I yeah. mean, there's, 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 you know, some guidelines about what the, the subject matter and the mm -hmm. audience and this and that. But then, yeah, I had no uh, training in grids or systems or anything like that. So I would read an article and say, "Wow, what would that look like? How can I reinforce what I just read?" Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And later, when music, I'd listen to the the CD or the album and say, "Wow, what would that look like?" And, you know, <laughs> that becomes so. That area of design has always been a lot more interesting mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. me than, say, doing. Uh, bus schedules or something mm -hmm. that graphic designers also do, but I'm, I'm much more interested in the area where you can help provoke a response and some emotional reaction mm -hmm. in, in the viewer. And what do you do now? Uh, I just talk at these things. At no, the I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny, it's never, it hasn't changed. I've been pretty uh -huh. fortunate. You know, I make mm -hmm. my living from my hobby, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm just doing what I've been doing. I've got a couple startups I'm involved in, and uh, doing some branding, and mm -hmm. I've been very involved with uh, recently doing some collage work and for some album covers mm -hmm. and book covers. and. Um, uh, and my new book that's oh. coming out, all uh, right, being pr pr printed right now. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, even though I ended print 25 years ago, <laughs> I have now have my fifth print book all coming right. out. Uh -huh. um, but uh, yeah, so just kind of what I've been doing. I, I, I enjoy coming to these events and getting to travel and meet new mm -hmm. people. And I, I don't have a, I never have a ton of clients. I have kind of an eclectic, smaller group that. Mm -hmm. I'm able to kind of pick and choose uh, the projects that I think are going to be more fun to work on or give me a certain amount of creative freedom. And yeah, and then winners, and I trust you surfing. Because well, and you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, the people say, uh, I've been fortunate, and the people that don't like what I do or are scared of it uh, or think you can't read it or something, uh -huh. they don't come to me. So <laughs> I don't have a lot of those arguments that uh -huh. other designers might. Mm -hmm. So it's been pretty good. So we have your website open here. And maybe maybe you want to guide us through it and um, a little like bit, show yeah. us a little bit of, of well, your work you and know, what you're doing. It's funny as this comes up, I realize, you know, some years ago, gosh, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe ten years ago, I had mm -hmm. kind of a, a little more traditional site, a big kind of meandering. You, you can still find it um, site, and at some point I realized, oh, this is just getting too big. I, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I need to throw up a little mini site just mini with, with the new work. <laughs> <laughs> with the new work, well, the mini site is no longer mini, <laughs> and it's very low tech, which I decided maybe uh -huh. I kind of like. It doesn't do a lot of bells and whistles that so many of the sites do, and I'm okay with that. If, mm -hmm. if you're interested in the work, you can find everything and just endlessly scrolls to the mm -hmm. right. And uh, but it's I, I had forgotten. It still says mini <laughs> site, and it's it's a maxi it's mini, mini <laughs> site. <laughs> All right, let's let's. Are we literally going through? through? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. This stuff's so hard to go through. But uh, uh, well, just uh, it's kind of a, a, a hodgepodge. Barcelona and Amsterdam. It's here now? mostly uh, based in Amsterdam, and I try to get down to Barcelona as much as I can. I still go to the Caribbean and. Why did you choose Europe? Europe? Uh, you know, I'd always enjoyed Europe and always thought at some point I would be have a base here, and, and finally things kind of aligned last summer and got some work in Amsterdam and some other things all kind of fell together, and so, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm really liking it. It's, uh, uh, especially Amsterdam, where there's a very uh, small area with a lot of really creative people mm -hmm. in a small area and a high level of creativity. and course getting around by bike and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it yeah. nice nice Good. nice change of pace so let's see where we are um, 
You know, I've been doing a lot of collages. We can see some album mm -hmm. covers here for John Coltrane, a, a five record box set mm -hmm. that came out before, right before Christmas, mm -hmm. which was which was a great assignment to get. And uh, uh, before that, I've, I've been involved in Amsterdam in this project where it measures your brain waves. And basically, mm -hmm. if your mind goes quiet or calm, the screen goes quiet. And Whoa. the minute you get distracted or start thinking about something else, the screen reacts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's, it's really interesting. And it's very early of how this might be used uh, in different ways. But, but this is what we see first here. We actually had a neuroscientist these days with us here at, uh, at OFF. Ah. And uh, uh, on the first day, she actually um, took uh, the creatives that we, that we had come here from all over Europe. Like yeah. She did the all the brain things and ah. had them perform creative tasks and and then like evaluate what kind of creativity and how the brain works. Oh, and I would have yeah. loved that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the invite. <laughs> <laughs> next time, next uh, time. Yeah. And she's, I, yeah, I think she's from the Netherlands too. So <laughs> it's a fascinating area, but mm -hmm. so I've got these kind of extremes of doing some brainwave stuff and mm -hmm. then torn posters mm -hmm. that I collect from various cities. Is there like more, like is there like a video or something? There's that, a video or? I'm going to show tonight okay. uh, in my talk mm -hmm. that'll explain it a mm -hmm. lot better. So um, here we see some work for a wetsuit company rebranding last year. They're called Sea Skins. And then next, some of this collage work, which just started out just, just in my own interest, uh, mm -hmm. not for any particular client or anything. And I really got into it. It's been really refreshing to get out from behind the screen for a so while. So I see, yeah, I see a lot of manuality and a lot of... Yeah. So do you feel that you, that you do more things like manually, like cutting up things and... Them well, on. that's where I started, yeah. and then I didn't do it much for 20 years, mm -hmm. and now I've kind of rediscovered this collage art, and the it's fun really, of it. it's no, really yeah. fun. Yeah. And, you know, of course, the texture and mm -hmm. the smell and sound, and, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and for what it's worth, I, I seem to get a lot of good reaction from it, too. Mm -hmm. I think other people are kind of hungry to feel that there's a human behind the work and that there's a little more, uh, well, just that, a little more human. Yeah. Uh, a human involved in the process somewhere because uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> things have been perfect for so mm -hmm. long. So, um, and that led to uh, some work for a shoe company. So, we're trying to do a, a collage kind of thing with, with some of their materials. And, um, okay, where? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so, anyway, we see some more collage work, a cover, some work for a hotel in uh, Amsterdam where I, I did all the art for the rooms. They have a very cool. Uh, a, a program, the, the hotel's called Zoku, and they put all the art at the end of each hallway with a sign to take the art you want in your room during ah. your stay, oh, okay. which is a pretty that cool idea. Pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, <laughs> so I got to do yeah, some like of that. Yeah, like the art that hangs in hotels is always so gloomy and well, it's yeah, always the and, same. And a lot of I hotels. love that idea. It's that a I really can, cool ah, idea. I like that. This, the end of each hall, exactly, my room and, and there's a sign that tells <laughs> you to do that. And, and they get people that stay like a week or, or so, so uh, it makes uh, even more sense. Uh, uh. Um, so anyway, some of that is what we're seeing here, some collage work, some work for a secret beer company, and uh, some of my own lecture posters. I think when you do your own poster for your own lecture, you, mm -hmm. you should have pretty much the ultimate freedom, <laughs> you know, because there's never, <laughs> any, my lecture. never <laughs> any money. And I think, you know, as the money goes down, the creativity acceptance uh -huh. needs to go up. I did some surfboards last summer, and that's what we see here in the middle. And, uh, you know, I've never actually done this walk through a thing like this. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's a mini fun. site, remember? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there's only about 5,000 more images <laughs> here. So some of this rebranding for this uh, wetsuit uh -huh. company, Sea Skin, some more collage work, some uh, group out of Los Angeles, so Creative like this, Force. This, this type, for example, this is something you draw. And then generally you cut out and yeah uh, uh, both or all mm -hmm. the above and, mm -hmm. and uh, occasionally I'll, I'll get a, a, a freelance mm -hmm. illustrator in but but I try to yeah. do as much mm -hmm. of it as I can myself 
Um, so yeah, just a lot of variety of. So projects. you find yourself giving more directions now, or do you oh, still no. enjoy? Oh no, oh no, I'm extremely hands-on. I mean, yeah. you know, this is pretty much the world headquarters you're talking to right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, very, very hands-on. I've never been good at directing a big team of yeah. other designers because. Uh, I just enjoy the work, and, mm -hmm. and so far people still want me to do it. But you do so. have people who work with you? Uh, not or, regularly. No, no okay. I'm pretty much a one-man show. Okay. People assume I'm bigger, I think, because I, I get a variety of clients, mm -hmm. but uh, I really enjoy the work, and uh, when people hire me, they, they want me to do it, mm -hmm. as opposed to farm it out to a team yeah. of designers or something. So, yeah, it works out pretty good. Some photography. Well, I just think, okay, so some work for, for Audi, mm -hmm. some skateboarding, okay. this is where I go surfing in the Caribbean, it's my desktop. Ah, oh, I love that. Don't give up. David Carson <laughs> wasn't built in a day. Because this is, this is so important, because, you know, many people think that success is, is fast, that it can come fast, but, you know, the thing that I always invite everybody to remember, it doesn't come fast. And, uh, well, you know, some people are get lucky, <laughs> but... The vast majority of us, you know, work hard, and um, and the definition of good luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Uh huh. So you have to be the right person, which means you've had the right training and experience mm -hmm. when that opportunity comes along, mm -hmm. and that's good luck. You'll All right. People yeah. say, "Oh, I was just lucky, or in the <laughs> right spot <laughs> at the right time." But if you're not the right person, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. um, yeah, and you know, I'm a good example of this kind of a. A very old cliche in, in America, maybe everywhere, that you know, if you work really hard for a long time, mm -hmm. it's something you love, mm -hmm. it's eventually going to pay off. Yeah. And, and I'm a good example yeah. of that. You know, I worked for many years with little or no money, and, mm -hmm. and that's fine. It wasn't about mm -hmm. that. And, yeah. uh, uh, and uh, eventually, yeah, I started getting mm -hmm. some like real jobs. Yeah. And this, <laughs> this, 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 this the, the, the word there that that was very important is doing what you love. Yes, you know? critical. Um, don't do things you don't love. Uh, you know, m many people feel like, okay, I need to do things I don't love because I need the money. Uh, but no, as little of that as possible. As little of that as possible. Yeah. Because you're not gonna, you're, you're, you're not gonna be happy ultimately doing uh -huh. that. And you know, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna say it tonight in my lecture, mm -hmm. but I'll, I'll say it, give you an exclusive Well, early. people who are online will not be here at your okay, lecture. Okay, so. okay, <laughs> well, then I can tell them. And it's, yeah. it's, it's also something that's kind of mm -hmm. well-known, but the definition of a good job, because mm -hmm. I'm sure a lot of people are, are looking for that ideal job. And mm -hmm. the best one I've heard, is, uh, and I still think it's pretty true, if, if money wasn't an issue, would you do that same work? Mm -hmm. And if you would, you found your thing, you got a great job. And, mm -hmm. and I think, you know, it may not be your your first, second, or even third job. It's a pretty good goal. The head towards this thing that if, if you didn't need the money, you would still be excited to do that. Mm -hmm. And you're in the right field, mm -hmm. whatever that is. Mm -hmm. you know, so I think that's and a Do you feel, really good like one. you said you started in sociology. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that, you know, these early studies, like, are, are still, still in you and, like, influence your work a little bit or get, have you think in a different kind of way? Well, as, absolutely. Because sociology, mm -hmm. you study people and reactions mm -hmm. and groups, and, and that's a big part of what I have to uh, keep in mind when I'm working on a project. Mm -hmm. you know, who is the audience, and how might they react to this, mm -hmm. and what are some things going on in society that this can help or, or might hurt, or, mm -hmm. or all of that. So absolutely. Because mm -hmm. we have a lot of people also in the audience that, you know, that that took a certain path because either their parents told them to or, um, you know, society forced them into a certain direction and they like crushed their, don't worry, Oh no. they crushed their, <laughs> their uh, oh, where's the mouse here? It's they crushed their creativity yeah. and, um, and yeah. now they're trying to go back into, the, into their creativity and I always Absolutely. say, you know, like cherish the things you've learned, you know, even if it doesn't have to do anything with design or film or photography. And, uh, and apply those to your, you know. Absolutely, and uh, it's, it's one way you can do unique work is to utilize your unique background. You know, mm -hmm. nobody has that. We can all get the same software and programs, mm -hmm. but nobody can pull from your background, your upbringing, your training, your parents, your whole life experience. Mm -hmm. So if you're able to put some of that, you know, you won't always be able to put all of that into a project, but if you can put a little of that in, mm -hmm. you're gonna have, uh, more fun doing it and you're going to do your best work mm -hmm. and, and that's where you can start to separate yourself from the millions of other mm -hmm. designers or photographers or whatever yeah. because uh, 
nobody can pull from that. Nobody can copy your, your whole kind of life experience. And so I think that gets exciting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, again, it's, it's degrees depending on the project and the client, but if you can still do something that the person sitting next mm -hmm. to you wouldn't have thought to do, then uh, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. so. Let's scroll some more. We have another <laughs> nine minutes before we go into portfolio reviews. Okay, well that'll be fun. So just posters, surfboards, office, uh, other talks. I have it, some tiles I did, which also was fun to get mm -hmm. out, do a 3D project of tiles for mm -hmm. um, uh, homes and things. And, and what did you do at the Late Show in me. Spain? They were talking about my new tiles. Ah, okay. <laughs> that was great. I was I followed. A, a comedian and then came on right before a rock band. So it's like, well, I said, oh, graphic design yeah. diner on yeah. a late night talk show. Mm -hmm. and, and when I got up, and they all stood up and clapped and I'm pretty sure they didn't know who I was, mm -hmm. but, but I waved because yeah. apparently that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And it was but fun. Don't, don't you have the feeling that now, today, in 2019, design is more important than ever and that, that society certainly somehow is much more open to designers and to creative work and... Um... Well, I think that's a good observation and, and the thing that I've noticed while we're here at this event is uh, how many of these events there are now um, around the world and they all seem well attended. So mm -hmm. there seems to be this hunger again mm -hmm. for anything related to design mm -hmm. and, and these, you know, they have a great turnout here and there's so many events and so that's kind of exciting. Uh, a good, good time. So you may be right on that one. That in general, I think the level. What other events in Europe do you do you enjoy going to? Um, oh gosh, there's so yeah. many. You put me on the spot. Oh, no, well, yeah. Just, you're yeah. Okay, uh, off. There's, there's off. so many. Of course, off's <laughs> okay, a good yeah. one. Uh, I, there's, I could tell you. All one. right. Let's, yeah, yeah. There's, let's a, there's, fly over there's that. a lot. Just <laughs> okay. don't go to uh, us by night. Not a good one. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so gosh, where's my little thing? Yeah, this is my lap. And there's images below as well. Well, I don't know why don't know. this format. I mean, it wasn't set up that way. There is other things down here as well. It is a, it is it truly a mini site. <laughs> 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 I don't know why those are showing up there, but I'm extremely low tech kind of guy. But I think that's kind of coming back again. So I have some work for Amtrak trains in America, a new flying car. Where's my flying car? Kind of cool looking oh. thing. Uh, it's a little packaging for potato chips, uh, article on the surf uh, wave, wave pools, new identity for I Love New York. Um, Are you like rethinking the, the heart? Well, that was a project, but yeah. it was just it wasn't really for the city. It was somebody uh, came up with that idea. Oh, okay. and it was kind of fun to play with. I, that's pretty sacred ground, <laughs> especially <laughs> New Yorkers and, and their label. So some uh, stand up paddle boards, my own lecture, some older lecture and an exhibition in Venice, a calendar, um, cover for Blue mm -hmm. magazine and Ray Gun. Uh, beach culture. So you can see with Ray Gun, you know, there was no grid, no system. The logo mm -hmm. changed. Every page was a whole different design assignment. Mm -hmm. So it was more work, but it was also a lot more fun uh, and hopefully ended up in a more interesting place. Were they I doing something similar before in. you got there? or uh, I, I started, you started it. it. Yeah, okay, I was so you the gave original. The, you yeah. gave the direction from, yeah. from day one. From day yeah, one, okay. Yeah. Um, and were they scared that there was no grid, that there was no... <laughs> That's a good no. question. A little bit. The, uh, before the first issue, like only a couple of weeks, uh, the publisher came to me and the editor and, and, he, and he, he... We have he a said, problem, David. Yeah, well, pretty, <laughs> he said it in a different way. They said, look, you know, we know we're hardly giving you any money but this token little fee for this magazine. Mm -hmm. Well, we just found out mm -hmm. we can only give you half of that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. half of yeah. nothing. <laughs> and if that's too little and you, and you can't do it, we mm -hmm. totally understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so, okay, stuff, so stuff. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I was just gonna say. So we really thought that they were trying to. They were worried, <laughs> and they wanted this out. And uh -huh. we said, no, that's okay. Because <laughs> we knew it was a really great uh -huh. opportunity. Mm -hmm. the magazine came out. It got all this mm -hmm. attention and press mm -hmm. and debate. And the publisher just backed mm -hmm. off. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I finished an issue, I sent it to the printer. Nobody had to okay it or uh -huh. anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's uh, Christoph who said David Carson's second second sight was one of the first graphic design books I got into my hands 20 oh. years ago. It was oh, mind blowing. Wow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Well, good you'll hear. certainly yeah. want to get the new one coming the, the out. The new one. <laughs> is it called New Collage? It's a lot of the collage work I mentioned, uh, so uh -huh. it's a little different than 
the other books, as it should be. It's is it on different. sale here somewhere? Well, it's being printed in Spain. Oh, okay. I found a really good uh, printer here nearby in Barcelona, and uh, uh, and then I'm still I'm, I'm semi self publishing, so I'm trying to sort out how to get it out there okay. now. <laughs> you want a book? <laughs> yeah. uh, so what's anyway, the name of the book? It's called New David Carson New Collage 001. Because I'm seeing this could be a series, there could be okay. another coming up. But uh, yeah, so it'll be available ahead. <laughs> online uh, in the next week because hmm. uh, they, they just printed. And it's 350 pages, it's a pretty big book. Anyway, nice. some early work for Armani, um, that was fun. And gosh, there's just so much stuff. Bose uh, speakers and headphones, I was their creative director for a couple years, well, no, for a year. Decided I wanted to try a real job. And <laughs> How did that work out? <laughs> <laughs> well, in the interview, I was, they wanted to know my work habits, and I said, well, I'm very hands-on. I just need my computer, my music, my coffee. I'm ready to go. And the interviewer said, coffee? <laughs> You're not allowed to drink coffee at your desk at Bose. Are you aware of that? <laughs> I said, no. Okay. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> well, this is going to be hard. How long, how long did you have that? Job. Uh, just under a year, under a year. and uh, I was able to to make a few, I think, uh, changes for the better for mm -hmm. them, but not nearly as much as I had hoped, and mm -hmm. ultimately got a little frustrating, so moved on. But obviously, they're mm -hmm. a quality product. Um, yeah, so some mm -hmm. work for Chrysler, Dolly Museum, logos for uh, Surf Brand, some startups. I started snowboarding. Magazine, Transville Skateboarding, was the art director for Burton, Snowboards. It's quite a show and tell, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's, it's, it's my awesome. mini site. Uh, yeah. Did some work for Prince. Uh, I'm to think what else. Uh, get more young people drinking alcohol. This tequila ad. <laughs> Book with Marshall McLuhan. A bunch of great quotes. He was predicted so much of what was going to happen in the media advertising world mm -hmm. uh, way before it did. So that was a great project. Uh, Chrysler work. Anyway, it's, you know, you do this for 20, 25 years, it builds up. <laughs> yeah, it builds up. <laughs> so Surf Magazine from Portugal, more Armani. Uh, so, uh, some, some website design. Some of the bows, TED Talk. <laughs> you did a TED Talk? Yeah, yeah. And what was the topic? Uh, I, you know, I don't remember if they gave me a specific talk. Uh. talk. It was more, I remember it being uh, the time limit was the big deal, which yeah. I never run across. Oh, you have to be very it was, precise. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. And, mm -hmm. Uh, and it, yeah, you and there was no leeway, oh, no. and I'm used to giving an hour lecture and yeah. stuff. And so that was that's mostly what I remember. What can uh -huh. you say interesting to that crowd mm -hmm. uh, in that amount of time? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's still up. You can find it. It's been a few years now, but yeah, mm -hmm. I was, I was. Uh, that was a bit of an honor. Maybe even more so then because there were just a few mm -hmm. of the, the TED events. They mm -hmm. weren't and smaller in every city. Yeah, yeah. There were just a few main ones. So oh. uh, yeah. Well, I don't know what no, happened here. Maybe this goes to the and bottom And then maybe it thing. goes to the bottom. There's, yeah, it's, it's like a split. Who, who oh, set this up? Yeah. There's more. Yeah, there's uh, work for Quicksilver and uh, Poster. Oh, I love these. Yeah, it says Guts. Um, commercial works, skateboarding, UCLA, Ray-Ban sunglasses. Is there an order to them? Uh, not really. <laughs> I mean, there's there's somewhat of a chronological order uh -huh. if you started from the front, just because I'll get something and say, oh, I should put that on, and mm -hmm. uh, that's no, it's uh, it's it's not. Mm. It's so such a weird mm. website that I think maybe that's its thing. It's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you just go, go endlessly for that direction. And now yeah. I just discovered there's a whole nother level. Uh, who knew? <laughs> it's a, it's I did a, twice as much work as I thought. It's a mini site with a lot to discover. <laughs> mini maxing site. Yeah, well, I wish there were bells and whistles. Sort David, of. I think we're ready for our first portfolio review. But wait, I have more Are work. <laughs> And we barely got started. Already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, yeah. It's like a TED talk. Ten uh, minutes. Yeah. And Francisca, right? Yes. Hey, Francisca. Welcome. Hi. 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 Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Good Hi, to Francisca. Meet you. Hi. Come here in the middle. And, yes. Sure. And yes. And it's you and David. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So how did these work? This is yeah. kind of new to me. Probably new to you, too. <laughs> yeah, very much, very much. Okay. <laughs> so basically, this is uh, Francisca's Behance portfolio, okay. where she collects her work, a little bit like your mini site. Um, so yeah, so maybe just a quick presentation of yourself, yeah. what you do. and Sure. So yeah. I'm an art director. I'm based in Berlin now. Okay. Last year, I moved to Mexico City. I was living there for a year. And this is basically what I created. Shall I go for Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. Go through and maybe highlight some of your favorites. Okay, so I think my favorite, let me open this, it's called Black. And It's called what? I'm sorry. It's called Black. Black, okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> works. It's so black. that works. <laughs> so um, I started this project because um, my mom has depressions. And this is how I got through like her process. This is how I imagined it. So I created illustrations just to put it in graphics. So that was my way of dealing with it. And I think this is one of my strongest projects. So here I'm saying, for the love of my life, my mother. So I pictured how people are feeling when they're depressed and how they get through it. And it's a really personal topic for me because of her. So this is like a following process and here I put on some some quotes just to put thoughts in words. And um, it always ends with with hope. So here we can, yeah. we can see like there is always hope. So before we see all those like sad moments. Yeah. If I cannot be happy, at least I can be drunk. For example, this is the quote of this one. At least I can be drunk. <laughs> at least I can be drunk. So it was <laughs> kind of funny. It was very sarcastic. Uh, and okay. it ends with hope, that book. And also... Well, I just... I, do you want me to comment on that now? Or? If you have uh, a comment on that. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think that's really open. strong. And I think, yeah. you know, the best work is things always comes from the things that you're more attached to and yeah. emotionally involved with and that's yeah. always where your best work is going to come from and I think this is really strong um, yeah this is also the feeling that I have because I'm emotionally yeah. attached to it so yeah. it really comes from and it the comes heart. through it, you know if you yeah. spend two minutes on something that's probably going to be the re yeah. reaction other people when they see it they're going to yeah. somehow sense that and this yeah. definitely feels at a, at a high level I think it's really impressive thank you um, I, uh, maybe I'm not so sure about showing it on the ground like mm -hmm. that. It, it's a yeah. nice composition, but if I'm looking to, to hire somebody, I really want to just concentrate on the work and I want to yeah. see some of the details. So that would be my mm -hmm. only criticism is really yeah. how you've maybe photographed it on the ground and, and think because it's got so much wonderful mm -hmm. things going on. I, um, Black can be a little obvious, maybe, but somehow yeah. I think you, you get away from that. There's enough white, and yeah. uh, it's, it's very, very intelligently done and uh, very impressive, very professional. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, maybe one just one comment from me. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you told us the, the yeah. whole story mm -hmm. about this, and it should be in here. Yeah, right as text. So that when yeah. I visit your portfolio, um, mm -hmm. I don't have I I I'm understanding something from yeah. from the title, but I don't know what it is. And you mentioned it's a yeah. book, it's about... I have no. it at the end, I think. Ah, okay. That see. should be at the beginning. Yeah, because yeah, people right, who, right. That's who are, a, okay, no, I don't Well, know. that's a good point. I, <laughs> yeah, that's I a really would, good point. I would second that, you know. Yeah. I was kind of waiting, because I thought you said depression mm -hmm. earlier, and then it came up again. I was like, okay, good, it's about... Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so, yeah, you can make that more clear, mm -hmm. because it, it follows that so well, what you yeah. described, and I liked it. For me, here's the hope uh, in the white, yeah. too, so it's not yeah. overpowering black. Mm -hmm. and uh, But I just... It's nice, and I think it shows you have a good sensibility yeah. in where you decided to place this, but mm -hmm. this is what I'm interested in. I want to see what font yeah. you used, and how was the letter spacing, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. did, are there any other little details, and I don't want to get lost back yeah. here. Yeah, okay. Um, but okay. very very nice, very pro professional. Uh, Maybe let's have David pick yeah, yeah, something please, that, please. like, like oh. click one of the well, things I'm, that inspires really you. by yeah. this. Mm -hmm. I, I like okay, the, yeah, uh, the negative space. And uh, um, I mean, I have to say my overall take on, on as you go through those yeah. is, is a high level. It feels very professional. And uh -huh. uh, um, This is more illustration? Yeah, this is more illustrational work. It's called Female Future. So I thought about how would it be to have the Berlin beer as a female version because everything is kind of with connected with manpower and also like 
um, a colleague of mine, she's, for example, not shaving her legs, so and she's always wearing this kind of socks, so I got inspired by her, and also, like, just empower your yourself and embrace and stand up for yourself, and also here. So you did all the illustration. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, I did. And... Um, See, that's very valuable if you can design well yeah. and as an extra bonus for an employer, yeah. you, you're a great illustrator. That's, that's Actually, it started because a friend of mine, he always said, you know, we are not going to be great illustrators and this is what kept me motivated because uh-huh. I thought, no, I can, oh, yeah? I can do oh, that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so it was uh, quite a good challenge. Good. And that's why I well, came, you rose to it came up with that. It's, it's definitely a plus yeah. for somebody that hires you more for your graphic design work yeah. or vice versa. You know, if, uh, mm-hmm. they, they need some illustration, but you, you can also design it yeah. or do whatever they need for yeah. the poster or whatever. That's, that's a right. plus. I love right. how this breaks the border here with her hair. That's mm-hmm. very it's a nice touch. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, just a, a really nice sensibility. Mm-hmm. The blend, the colors, nice, very impressive. Mm-hmm. Let's go back. Let's find one that's more... Uh, uh, what's the word? Like maybe the phone one or something. We looked at an emotional one. We yeah. looked at illustration. Now let's look at yeah. a real practical one. Yeah. A piece. Do you have another one you could show us? Um, I have a different maybe, one. Maybe so, the, like the faces one? Something where you had so, like the least freedom, maybe. The, I had the least freedom. <laughs> okay. Because um, that's reality. And that's how did re- you deal with that? That's reality. So um, when I was in Asia for a while, I traveled a lot. I got inspired to see like other cultures, other people, and Good. this is how like yeah. I put their faces Great. into illustrations, and it's like, Great. what do you see in their faces? So I like to play with those thoughts, and um, so it's really, everything is attached to something emotional. So for me, Chinese, or at least Asian people, they're super overthinking a lot they're really shy and hard to to crack but also super open-minded super welcoming super friendly and this is like how i situations that i like saw yeah one person stepping away from the other and um Hmm. so So is illustration what you love yeah so I'm also into branding and editorials and mm-hmm. doing exhibitions, but I think my passion is really into mm-hmm. illustration. Yeah. You should follow that passion. I, I will. I will do. Yeah, will, yeah. You, you have to, and, and you're you're at yeah. a good good level. Wonderful yeah. color sensibility. Of the and also, one last project. Uh, one last project. Um, um, let me see. So for example, I did this. For a friend. Ah, here we have some explanation. Oh, it's at yeah. the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's at the top. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will put it at the top. So a friend of mine, he moved to New Zealand, and I thought, okay, what shall I give him as a goodbye present? And then I came up with this notebook where he could put all his thoughts, like a diary somehow. So I created those illustrations. All of them are. Why is it so small? Hmm. So it's uh, combined. Everything is hand drawn, and yeah took a lot of time to do it and um, nice. yeah I would I would say the same thing that maybe depending who you're talking to or interviewing yeah. with it's like I, I like their sensibility mm-hmm. but but this is really what I'm more yeah. interested in yeah and uh, so I would I, I think you could get away from that mm-hmm. at some mm-hmm. point yeah yes because it's very very busy yeah um, mm-hmm. If it was a flat color, you know, it yeah. would already be different, but it's marble. <laughs> that's true, that's true. It's faded and it's, 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 yeah. it's livable, but it's, yeah. we don't want to be there. We yeah, yeah. Be. <laughs> and um, you said it's well, a lot. I'm curious on this one because at least it may uh, be the most straightforward. Yeah, that was a too. super interesting project. It's for um, the German AIDS help. Mm-hmm. So they wanted to create a website where they're telling other people that HIV is not transmittable anymore when you're under therapy. So I created this website, I came up with the concept, with the colors, and that's also a little bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how the entire page looks. I did the illustrations, the text mostly, and also... Very nice. Maybe one last uh, one last thing that, you know, like the portfolio shows yeah. that you have a breadth yeah. or like a broad, um, yeah. you know, skill set. Mm-hmm. Um, but a portfolio is also important to show what it is exactly what you love doing. Yeah. So maybe it's it's the illustration part, and you know, maybe mm-hmm. it's the design part. But 
if I'm looking for for talent, I'm mm -hmm. looking for very specific things. Yeah. And especially now in 2019, people are looking for people who are more uh, who have have a niche, like a, mm -hmm. spe a special thing they can do, yeah. like your you know your superpower. Yeah. And uh, what is that superpower? Mm -hmm. And I need that to understand that yeah. right away. Okay. Yeah, I would agree with that. It, it's. There's some people that'll tell you you should you know a little bit about everything, but that's mm -hmm. how where most people are. So if you have one area that's really your passion and you're really yeah. strong in, then go go after that. All and right. Let people get to know. Oh yeah, she does that. Blah blah blah. And yeah. as opposed to yeah, they can kind of do everything yeah. okay, yeah. which ultimately yeah. is kind of forgettable. And you definitely have strong strong. Uh, yeah. Francisca, oh, thank you. Thank you for so showing much us for your having portfolio. me. And yeah, I hope, great you know, stuff. You get yeah. valuable yeah. feedback. <laughs> and, uh, it's, quick, it's a quick one, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. very impressive. Yeah. 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 Really you're, nice to meet you guys. You're in thank a good you. spot. Thank you. Okay. You're sitting thank good. You. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And the next one is, oh, French. Studio Ascenso. Okay. Yes? Please, please. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Nice good to meet you. Good to meet you. Come in the middle here. Hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, so you are French? Yes. Yes, what is your name? Romain. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay, very good, Romain. So, yes, so now we have, you know, a few minutes with David Carson and, uh, you know, show us a little bit of, you know, who you are, what you do, and, you know, how you present your work on Behance. Oh, it's um, for a presentation of my work mm -hmm. um, and of um, advice, tips mm -hmm. for uh, develop our community mm -hmm. or... Uh, feedback mm -hmm. uh, of uh, my work. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Ascenso is specialized um, um, in branding, mm -hmm. um, especially in my territory. There is wine, good wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, I have a, um, a particular project with a, a craft beer also. Mm -hmm. um, in Studio Ascenso, we are two persons, mm -hmm. Samuel and me. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Samuel Roger, <laughs> say hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and I have funded Studio Ascenso in 2008. And mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> so, yeah, why don't you start by like picking one project that you want to show David, and then maybe we have David afterwards pick one that inspires him out of the yes. out of the, the lot. Okay, uh, I can pick um, this one. It's an organic beer with a tip face when I drawing. Uh, his name is Alaric. Mm -hmm. oh, nice, nice, nice photo, <laughs> nice like presentation. Yeah, I, like. um, I work with a, a, a photographer for, for this project. Mm -hmm. um, I have a drawing, uh, tip face, and choose paper, color. Um, the same step when a um, wine li label. Mm -hmm. and nice. Here, yeah, the branding with logotype. Uh, is it beer or is it wine? It's a, it's a beer, ah. but uh, uh, wine inspiration. Ah, okay. It's a French okay. wine inspiration. It's beer that tastes like wine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it is um, the context and history uh, of the name. Alaric ah, okay. is a mountain next mm -hmm. to uh, the brewery. Mm -hmm. So I think this is a good example of where there's a lot of explanation that actually helps me as the viewer to understand exactly what's happening. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, absolutely. Before we see even the visual, we mm -hmm. have a, yeah. a little idea. And I love how you how you also laid it out and everything. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Nice graphic, uh, mm -hmm. kind of information graphic, but it's still inviting and you know it's easy to access. So well done. Yeah. The one color by beer. Um, I see, inspired by wine. Do you like it? Yes. <laughs> yes? It's you good drink, stuff? Do you drink Kay. a lot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can buy it in <laughs> Russia, Asia, <laughs> France. <laughs> Did you bring some with you? Did it? Nice. Oh, well, this nice. I think is... is and what I represent... Um, oh, the, the, the brewery. The brewery, yes. Okay. There is many wall mm. uh, inside when we draw. So you're actually drawing this yourself. Postcard. Nice, nice. Yeah. 
very important to show things like this as well yeah, because it shows, yes. you know. <laughs> yeah, I okay. wasn't clear before that you were doing some of the actual drawing yourself, so that's it's a nice way to introduce that. Mm -hmm. I, I like that, yeah. Let's have, let's have David choose one. Yes. Go back to the where they yeah. all are, but uh, that, that, I think that's mm -hmm. a really strong presentation, mm -hmm. really impressive. Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's presented well, the result is well done, it's, I, I have a hard time criticizing that one. I think that's a very strong... Uh, well, let's go maybe the other direction, this looks a little more... What can you tell us about this? Le Petit Cancre is um, a poem uh, right, written by um, Prévert, you know, uh, Jacques Prévert? Jacques Prévert? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. And uh, the Happy Children, and oh. um, it's an um, orthographic correction website. You can make correction uh, online. Um, and I, uh, I use uh, this program to create this brand. Uh, hmm. So you the did cap the logo. And you you cap, the uh, yeah, it's the logo. Yeah, yeah I like the And the smile. <laughs> the smile. That's well, I'm, I'm liking it. I have a... a, a <sighs> It's more of a personal issue, but right now in, in design, graphic design, we see a lot of all caps flush left, boom. It's almost like automatic. Mm -hmm. It's almost like there's a button where you can, if you need a title <laughs> or you hit it and boom, all caps flush <laughs> left, usually Helvetica or something very close. So mm -hmm. I'm uh -huh. curious to, when I look at portfolios, mm -hmm. to see how do the people deal with some of the details. And maybe you go in here and just open the letter spacing on one word or make it a different font or, so it doesn't feel Feel that it was just typed in and hit flush left. So, so right now, and it's fine, and it's okay, and that not necessarily where you want to be. So, if this was a student showing me their portfolio, this is the stuff I want to see and, I, and, and go, oh, that's interesting. Look how they spaced out the phone number. Or, and it doesn't have to be wild or crazy. It's little finessing that sends a message to me that whoa, they're a bit obsessive about the type, and that's what I need on this project. So. So it's just something to be aware of. Like you have a fun mark, I think that works very well, and the color and everything is fine, but nothing in here that's unexpected or makes me think, oh, well that's interesting, look how he did the, the address. It, and again, it can be something little, but something only you would do, and it, it might be literally just opening the spacing on one word, but something mm. in there, that in general. I mean, it seems to kind of work here, but I'm sure there's something that still could have been a little more so even though you're concentrating on the color and the low, the, the, the mark, yeah, yes. this stuff is as important when you're showing your work. Yeah. And not, not everywhere can be wild and crazy, but little, little things, <laughs> that's all. So yeah, I think that's very good feedback. Thank you, David. But yeah. I, don't, I think that's about all the time that we have. Oh, yeah. that was quick. Do, do you have any questions? <laughs> for, no? No, wait. I hope that was Is there helpful. another project real quick yeah. you, you really? like? Is, uh, yes, it's, uh, um, it's, it's at a high level. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm impressed with the presentation and uh, uh, this is the uh, last project. Uh, so we're going to be cut off here uh, on the hands in a few seconds, but it's going to be continue on YouTube for a little while. So here the we'll inspiration, be right back in the minutes. architecture, and okay. um, and shows with the uh, radiant Watch the architecture. Replay. Nice. Oh, that's a wonderful frame. I really like what you've done with the color there. It's really strong. Uh, nice. I don't know if there's issues when that gets really small, but... Um, it's uh, the element. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's where it comes from. Huh. Well, this is a very professional site. I, I think you're in a good place. <laughs> good use of uh, color and, uh, uh, yeah. It's I, next to the sea and uh, the really nice. The, yeah. The shell. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it may, sometimes you have to be a little careful if, if you're going to show us. Uh, of course, it's going to be at the beach, so maybe there's ways to get a little more creative. But but it's it's not bad. That's being pretty picky. <laughs> uh, 
you know, and you don't always need these lines. People yes. figure it out, but or make them the same feeling yeah. like this. So yes. it, it, now it feels almost yeah. like the program might have done it and, and not you. But uh, yeah, no. So it's, everything I've seen is at a really high level. You know, I, I have to get real nit, nitpicky, but that's where you can also elevate it by going back <laughs> into some of those little details now because the basic stuff is really strong. It's a, it's a good professional site. Yeah. Thank you, Roman. Thank yeah. you a lot. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice. It was a pleasure. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Okay. David, what can I say? Well, that was fun. <laughs> Thank Let's you so get much some more. Let's get some more. Yeah, yeah, right? You want to do another <laughs> hour? <laughs> that was fun. No, I, well, I really enjoy looking at work, and uh -huh. I don't think it's my job to destroy anybody, but, but yeah. hopefully push them to get even yeah, better. That, you know, oh, so. totally. That was very good feedback. Thank you so much. Thank you for and having me. Stay fun tuned stuff. because we're going to be right back at the top of the hour with our next guest from TSTO. See you.